Hey what's up everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video I'm going to be guiding you through how you can add a mega menu in Shopify. Essentially I'm going to be covering what exactly a mega menu is, why you should use one in your own Shopify store, how we can navigate through the process and some additional tips for optimizing your mega menu. So without much further ado let's get started. So let's start with what exactly is a mega menu and a mega menu is essentially when you hover over a main category and then a big drop down menu appears filled with subcategories, images or maybe featured products. So for example let's take a look at this online store and see this big menu that pops up once we hover over it. It's not only just visually stunning but it also makes the shopping experience incredibly intuitive. Customers can easily find what they're looking for without the hassle of clicking through countless pages. And that exactly is the power of a mega menu. A well-designed mega menu can significantly improve your store's user experience by presenting your products and categories in a clear, organized manner. And that way you're making it easier for customers to navigate your store and find exactly what they need. And when the customers can find what they want quickly, they are more likely to make a purchase and come back for even more. Moreover, mega menus can help you showcase your brand's personality and highlight your best-selling products. With the ability to add images and feature specific items, you can create a visually appealing navigation system that reflects your store's unique style and draws attention to your most popular offerings. And now that we know why mega menus are almost a must-have depending on your store's niche, let's move on as to how we can get a mega menu set up. The first one would require coding and for you to manually add each and every single part of your mega menu and the obvious advantage to that would be how customizable your menu would be with the downside being obviously coding. So in order to simplify things and get you hooked up with a mega menu as fast as possible, we can simply head over to Shopify's app store and install a suitable application. So navigate to the left hand side of your Shopify dashboard and you will see a section labeled applications or apps. Click on it and you will be taken to a page displaying all of your currently installed applications. We want to click on the view more applications button or search for the mega menu applications. And once you've done that, you will notice that there are a lot of mega menu applications. And good news is that most of them would come in with a free plan available. So it doesn't really matter as to which exact application you get. However, I would highly recommend getting the Buddha one. It's called the Buddha Mega Menu and Navigation. It does come with a free plan available on top of having thousands of reviews, most of which are very positive. And if for any reason you wanted to try the Mega Zen plan, which comes in at $9.95 per month, then you would have a 14 day free trial for you to go and give it a shot. So click the install button and get it downloaded onto your own Shopify store and then we will go ahead and customize it further. So once you have the mega menu application downloaded, we can get started with designing our very own mega menu. So navigate to the add item button, click on it and then you'll be presented with this menu right here. Start by choosing an icon, so we've got the static icons or the live icons, I'm going to choose this one just to get started with. And then after that you want to choose a name for your own menu. So I'm going to go ahead and name mine clothing for this demo. And the next important step is selecting a link for that specific mega menu. And this is where people will be headed to if they click on the drop down menu and then select any one of the options. So typically to the products page and a specific category for the products if you have one. You can also add a label with this application if you want to. So if you have any new products or if any of them are on sale, there is the shiny red hot one so that it actually catches the eyes if you have any new products that you want to showcase heavily. Or you can go with no labels if you want to and this is what I'm going for for this example. And lastly you can enable a countdown for that specific menu if you have some limited time products or something of the sort. After that don't forget clicking on the save button and a pop-up will come up for you to enable your application so click enable application now. It will then redirect you to the theme customization options where you can make sure that the mega menu is exactly where you want it to be. You can see how the icon that you've pre-chosen looks like on your theme. So enable the application from the app embeds and click on save. After that we want to head back to the application settings, hover over the menu that we just created, so in my case the clothing, and then you will see the three lines on top of each other for settings. Click on that and then select the sub menu type that you want, so I'm going to go ahead with simple. And that's where we can add more items or subtopics, so go ahead and write a new name for them. Choose a widget and select a specific link. This is important that we fill out all of these. 
So since the main menu is called clothing, I'm going to select a subcategory and call it women. And then for the widget, I'm going to link it with images if you want to or a featured product, featured collection and all of that stuff. And then I'm going to link it to the page where I would normally have the women clothing stuff. You can also add a description if you want to so people can actually see that when they hover down on this subcategory. Select a label if you want to and then go ahead and click OK. You can head over the mega menu again and you will see a small preview of how things would look like inside it. If everything looks good, go ahead and click save. And then after that, we simply view our store again, click on the mega menu and see how it looks like on our theme. And as you can see, it has created a mega menu for us with the subcategory of the women clothing product that I chose to link with. Rinse and repeat the same exact product for all the mega menus that you want to be available on your website. You can add more subcategories. So for example, I would go back and then add the one for men, maybe kids or accessories and start designing all of my mega menus using the same exact procedure. That will be a wrap on today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you have any other questions in the comment section down below. And if you've enjoyed today's video or found it to be helpful or informative to watch, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make related to this one.